Good morning, everybody. Uh, I will talk uh, here uh, um, by myself, but we prepared this uh, presentation together with the Dean of Journalist Department of the Polish National University, uh, Viktor Kostyuk, but I will talk because uh, my English is a little better. <laughs> okay, so uh, challenges for journalism education in Ukraine, quality of academic staff. That was uh, the topic I prepared for today. And uh, key points uh, I will talk uh, to today about are, first, it's overall, overall crisis of Ukrainian education and science. Uh, uh, no balance between academic staff and trainers with practical experience in journalism schools uh, in Ukrainian universities. Then it's uh, load, teaching load and other kinds of loads uh, for journalism academic staff. Variations in degrees at journalist departments, and finally, lack of methodological background in journalism research. So, I will uh, talk more about each of these challenges. So, uh, as we know in Ukraine, uh, and Professor Rizun mentioned that we have a lot of reforming of journalism education recently, for recent, I would say, decades. Uh, and uh, not all people follow the reforms, a lot of slow followers uh, and some obstacles, so that, of course, influence journalism education. Uh, the Minister of Education and Science is still a very... Um, um, uh, has a lot of influence of journalism education as well as other parts of edu and science of uh, education and science in Ukraine and they set high requirements uh, and sometimes these requirements are too high that people can uh, the staff academic staff can't uh, go along with uh, and uh, uh, on the level of universities, we have low incentives for academic staff like lack, lack of funding a lack of resources. Uh, there are a lot of reports on journalism and journalism education in Ukraine. I just uh, want to mention one of them by Reporters Without Borders. Uh, they looked uh, on journalism sector uh, uh, in general in Ukraine after Euro Euromaidan, uh, and the part of it was devoted to journalism education. So they pointed some problems, and I want to mention them now. Uh, as I said, lack of practitioners as teachers in journalism education was uh, the main uh, concept, of the main challenge they found. Uh, many universities have uh, very outdated courses and like history of journalism would be the part of the whole curricula. Um, almost everywhere, uh, universities that educate journalists, uh, the education is too academic. Uh, and still we have post-Soviet heritage, uh, post-philological understanding of journalism, and I will talk more about that a little later. So no balance uh, in research, uh, in researchers, teachers, and uh, practical, uh, and teachers with practical experience. Uh, that uh, is a real, uh, real problem because um, Practitioners, practical journalists, not always want to go and work at journalism departments. Uh, there, there are a lot of reasons for that, and of course, uh, no desire, motivation to work first of the problems. Uh, then uh, low salaries and a high workload uh, in universities. So not always practical journalists want to change their job for going and work uh, in the universities. Uh, academic staff is overloaded with numerous tasks other than teaching. Uh, we have in Ukraine a 600 hours, that is a working load for a uh, full-time position, and uh, that is just a part of your workload. Uh, other two-thirds would be uh, research and uh, a lot of other uh, a, lot, a lot of other um, requirements like uh, recruiting, uh, volunteering different projects, uh, finding grants and, uh, uh, and projects, uh, advising students. So sometimes uh, the university staff is too overloaded with different tasks other than just teaching. Uh, 
we have, as I said, in journalism education, uh, to the certain extent, post-philological background of many teachers. And a lot of university staff uh, teach in the journalist departments. They are holders of uh, PhDs in languages and literature. And that is, uh, uh, I wouldn't say an obstacle, but that is, that is influential to their, uh, to the style of teaching and to the uh, course content sometimes. Uh, and another problem is that uh, many, uh, a huge amount of uh, people uh, among journalism staff, uh, academic staff in universities, they don't speak any languages except Ukrainian and Russian and uh, no English uh, proficiency. So uh, it's hard to be mobile, mobile in terms of academic mobility, in terms of changing and be on hand uh, in, to be uh, on the same pace as uh, in uh, as our uh, European or other colleagues, and uh, another problem is lack of academic integrity and uh, um, academic culture. Uh, that is a problem for the whole education ed educational system in Ukraine, not just journalism uh, stuff. But we are as a part of uh, the whole system. We also have this uh, the problem of integrity lack of integrity. And finally, a lack of methodological background. As I mentioned before, uh, the post-philological uh, influence is still uh, high. And uh, we, uh, we see the lack of methodological diversity. And uh, uh, for example, a very few journalism schools would have uh, courses, specific courses in qualitative and quantitative methodological uh, methods. Uh, some of them lack uh, statistics at all. Uh, and uh, maybe the methods of research sometimes are outdated or insufficient. Uh, many, uh, many academic staff would still uh, not consider themselves uh, the political scientists or uh, uh, social scientists, but more uh, like uh, humanitarian science, scientists. So that is, uh, as a system, that, that a lot of challenges face this system. So what we can do? Of course, follow the trends uh, in academic staff preparation, uh, world trends, uh, to be more interdisciplinary, to follow global, the trend of global collaboration, and I'm happy that we are here because it's a real global col col collaboration now uh, going on. Orientation on best practices and practical outcomes uh, for, and uh, orientation for labor market. Uh, and of course, uh, academic staff can follow lifelong learning approach and digital be, be more digital literate. Um, so the, as, a, as a way to overcome it can be participation uh, of journalism faculty staff in the trainings, in different programs. There are a lot of them now in Ukraine. They are available and uh, a lot of my colleagues do that. They do want to change. They do want to find new ways to learn. And uh, a lot of uh, agencies provide these trainings. Applying for external grants, uh, like for equipping journalism labs, uh, journalism departments, and a lot of uh, our schools do that. And of course, participating in the projects like this one to, uh, to broaden um, the partnership and to be more professional and find ways to overcome the challenges. Thank you. <laughs>